This is like going to a foreign film. If you can read English, you'll understand it. If you can't read English, you will still understand the play. Hispanic Heritage Month begins today, and here in Cleveland, the first Latino theater company in the entire state is making history. Yeah, they're ready for showbiz. Rehearsals are already underway for their debut of The House of Bernarda Elba. It's a Spanish classic play about love, rivalry, and ambition. Our culture has been here all the time. You just haven't seen it. Now we're going to bring it up. We're going to put a spotlight. Without rehearsal, but ready to shine, the curtain is rising for the very first independent Latino theater company in the state. I still sometimes cannot believe it. With classic hand-painted floors inspired in the Spanish colonial era, yet bold and ambitious Seven Guard proposals about to hit the stage, the multinational group is bringing a glimpse of their life and culture to Northeast Ohio. When Monica uh, Torres asked me, uh, let's open our first theater company. I actually was like, right. <laughs> Skepticism not for the lack of skills or trust, but because the road to success is a battle for minorities, especially in the arts. But fighting all odds for over three years, what once was a rough draft, today is about to hit the stage. It was about time for, for all us Latinos, you know, to really demonstrate what we can do. Proud to represent many countries from Latin America and the Caribbean, the group hopes to fight stereotypes and misrepresentation of Latinos in the arts while promoting their culture and leaving their stamp with pride. When I saw it was going the direction it was going, I was like, I had to be part of this uh, because this is basically history. This is the first independent Latino uh, company and theater in Ohio. In an area where people often feel threatened by gentrification, Latinos Theater found their home in the Clark Fulton neighborhood, right in the heart of their own community. Our community, it's been said that it's um, a community that has been suffering for many years. We've been pushed, we're being, um, I would say, put to the side, but we are strong. Latinos, we are strong and we are here to stay making sure their language and traditions stay alive for almost half a million Hispanics that call Ohio their home, most place will be in Spanish. For non-Spanish speakers, subtitles are available, providing a whole new cultural experience for many that otherwise wouldn't have the opportunity to see a whole new world from a different perspective. I'm definitely giving the example for the new generations to come. This is the house of the Spanish community. The community is invited to our house, and from the minute they walk out that door, it's got to be beautiful, stunning. This is, represents our culture, and, and then there's going to be an extension to what they're going to see on stage. We're going to do equal or better quality production than most places. Jorge Ramos Pantoja, 3 News. The House of Bernarda Alba is scheduled to hit stage next month. And for tickets, you can visit latinustheater.com. And just what a gem mm. for our community because we do have such a strong Latino population. Absolutely. And even for kids, I think of like, you know, this could be great for field trips or, you know, exposing our children to a, a wide array of cultures. Yeah. All the people that it's going to benefit, no doubt. Mm -hmm. History in the making. Mm -hmm. Great to yeah. see.